Hello everybody, welcome back to Dragon Age 2, where I was reading the Codex, and I was reading specifically Anders and Fenris's uh, character entries. He was still considered only a reckless scamp by first enchanter Irving, who thought his easy temper and sense of humor made him no true threat. But during the final escape, Anders befriended the warden commander of Amaranthine and accepted an offer to become a Grey Warden. It introduced him to the free fade spirit called Justice, who slowly convinced Anders to turn his attention beyond his personal suffering. And fused with Justice's fervor, Anders offered to merge with the spirit in the name of mage freedom, starting them both on a dangerous path that turned the purity of justice into the unthinking hatred of vengeance. There is a very, very thin line between justice and vengeance, like, in reality. You could consider them, vengeance is justice, you know what I mean? Like, people's, you get vengeance or revenge, that is justice. But there is a difference. And in my opinion... And there's a statue I saw ages and ages ago that had a, it had, it was, it was of two, like, angels, right? And one of them was blindfolded and holding a scale. And the other one was behind the blindfolded one and was holding her back. And they were justice and mercy. It says justice is blind. Justice says if you commit a murder, you need to die. But mercy says, you know, let them live they were defending themselves or something, you know? But justice doesn't care about that. Justice is blind. True justice is an evening of the scales. But only with mercy can you get actual justice, I think, at the same time. Mercy in, like, yes, this man needs to be taken, you know, down. This man needs to be killed because he's harmed too many people. You know what I mean? It would be an act of mercy... To, I don't know, it, it dissipate. You could, you could do this whole philosophical thing about it. I'm, I've, I've done it. Like, <laughs> I've been in philosophy and English classes where we've talked about that sort of thing. And it can just go in circles. There's so many different viewpoints. or so many different ways to go in a circle. I don't know, almost the same ways? I don't, it, see, it just goes in a circle. Hmm. Then we had Fenris's, too. <clears throat> I didn't quite realize he was a bodyguard. To, magis to the Magister. So the markings in his skin are like rune crafting, made of lyrium and ink. And in unguarded moments, Fenris attempts to control the agony that still lingers. I did not know that. Is it different if we go to our friends' houses at night? Wait, oh dang, I have him with me. That's okay. I guess I can I can switch him out. But I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna run through really quick. That, that's what I was planning on doing. I was running through and making sure everybody is good to go. Uh, so, taking, yeah, yeah. Yeah! Okay. Oh, I'm trying to pop my neck for a second. These statues are oh, it's like somebody, it's like something holding up a mask, or something, something with wings. Odd. We should move okay, on. Just check in. I know some. I, I just feel like that one time that what when I had Meryl with me, there wasn't a. Or maybe we should leave and then come back. Maybe we'll do that. Uh, who do we have? We could go talk to Anders. I keep forgetting that the Kunari live in a tropical climate. I keep thinking they're like the frost giants from like northern like Scandinavian mythology. Cause and they're kinda like grayish blue skin. Oh shoot, I have Anders with me. <laughs> Alright, let's just okay, let's just let's just take everybody out. <laughs> oh wait, oh no, okay. No, turn it off. Turn it off. Okay. Except. I'm gonna run around by myself. I appreciate your help and support. Oh, you're welcome. Anytime. 
Uh, it's not so easy to fast travel out of your place, though. Oh, shoot, it's nighttime. I maybe shouldn't be wandering around by myself. I'm, like, really nervous now. That was a, that was a fancy dressed guy. Oh, I just realized this is an elevator shaft. Huh. Okay. Hanged man. We just talked to Varric, so Varric should be good. Meryl. Howdy. Oh! Her house looks quite nice. By the dread wolf. Why ah. is my house By the dread wolf. It's clean sometimes, I swear. It's clean sometimes, I swear. All right. Um. Um. Is that everybody? Fenris's mansion. Anders' clinic. Varric is there. My sister's in Gamlin's house. Oh, um, Aveline. I haven't talked to Aveline in a while. She in the gallows. I think so. I do like being able to hit several opponents at once. Oh, shoot. Thrask. Um, is this... Is this where I... Is this... Am I, like... I am not... I'm not where I think I want to be. Do I have to go to Hightown, then? Just Hightown? Mm. Oh! Haha! <laughs> Blah! the top! Kinda, I think I kinda thought that's where we were. I thought it said the gallows was like doubling as the... Everybody's, you know, the Viscount, the Circle, blah 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 blah. Yeah. But... No, it's just the, it's just the fancy houses. How much longer do I have? Oh, um, so you're not in here, Aveline? Not much room in the barracks, but there's eh? nowhere I'd rather be. Eh? You have my thanks. Aveline was wise to bring you. She will make a fine captain. Yes, she will. Ah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing how that progresses. The All right. Must be okay, so... What should we do? Then we can decide who we're gonna bring. Um, I kind of want to do the shepherding wolves. Um, is there a way to do that? Can I do that? Will it tell me, or do I have to like stumble upon it? I wish I could see the whole map. Why can't I see the whole map? Let's see. Oh, that was not... Oh, well. We'll bring, um... Anders, Fenris, and... Oh, who... Oh, Aveline? The... Varric? I don't think Fenris and Varric have talked... Anders hasn't talked to, like, anybody except Fenris and Bethany. Should I bring Meryl? Maybe I'll bring Meryl. Uh, do they? I don't think they talk in here. Nope. Who are you to talk to me like that? Okay. Yes, I I know. But uh. Oh, do I? No. Nope. Herbalist. Oh. Oh, boy. Is there dragons in there or something? Oh, no, that isn't mine, isn't it? Um, let's actually... I'm actually curious to see if Fenris will say anything about the Dalish. Meryl didn't say anything when we went back there last. I wonder if, I wonder if Anders will. 
Wow. What is that about the Blooming Rose? Special service should open up offers to the most loyal customers. I may be a flirt, but I do not want to frequent a brothel, I'll tell you that. I like to have a little bit more attachment <laughs> than that. I'll be honest with ya. It's a respected profession, though. One of the oldest. You don't have names. What happened to the holla for these guys? I think part of Meryl's quest is to, is to help them because of the holla. Oh! And I was, I was, remember, I was playing Inquisition the other day, or like a while ago, and, um... Oh, okay. Um, but... There's an elf in there who says that her clan went up to go help another Dalish clan that was there because they had lo m lost most of their holla to sickness or something. So is there gonna be like a like another clan coming up? To oh, ah, huh? Is this both in a TV? <laughs> what? His were the symbols of Andrew. Yep, Jenna TV. Huh. Um. Turns out, I think the markings I gave my. Elf, it, my second, my Alin, from when I eventually go do a second playthrough of Dragon Age Origins. Um, I I thought I gave her Mythals because they looked very similar to Mythals and in Inquisition, but I think I actually oh what was it? My friend showed me that the somebody uh, online said that exactly what each of the tattoos were like how they how the one I saw for Inquisition. For my first character, I actually accidentally chose Mythal, but it worked out very well story-wise. And it just, her character was kind of, it just worked all together very well. Um, it wasn't Andril, it was, I think it was Silas or June? I'm not sure, but it was interesting. It's definitely something that will affect things, I think. Watch your step, Shem. You don't know how many Dalish arrows are trained. What do I gotta like do more with you guys? You know what I mean? Hey, let's uh sell my junk stuff. Yay! Oh, I keep forgetting to see ah uh, freaking when I have Aveline to see if I need to give her a new sword. So I keep keeping this long sword just in case, you know. Whoa! What is that? When did I get that? This is green, and this one's orange. Oh, it has a... That has one little circle on it, and this one has two. Oh, is that for the runes, then? So... Oh. So the ancient leather curious I could wear... I could put a rune on. I'm wearing the Helm of Appreciation. I should be able to put my rune on it. Dalish crafting is second to none. How are you guys doing? May the dread wolf never hear your footsteps, child. You. Another nightmare. I said to go to the Dalish because they might know how to get around. What's this area? I don't think I have experience. All Dalish women are crazy. Ha. Ha. <laughs> Why do you say that? Um. Oh, okay, that's the leave area. Area. But what's over here? So, when you first did blood magic, it was just an accident, right? You cut yourself and realized the power. You didn't actually deal with a demon. Oh no, I didn't. Uh -huh. Why would you do that? I needed his help. He was really very nice about it. Of course he was. He's using you to get a foothold in a mortal brain. He's a spirit. He offered me his aid. I hardly think you're one to criticize. Yeah. Yeah, if he's not a there's a difference between demons and spirits. Anders should know that.
What's up with this random area back here? <gasps> She's buckets! Oh my god! <laughs> I got so freaked out! James Louise freaking heck! It's okay guys, I hope you guys can take care of those couple over here because I'm gonna be- Oh wait, uh, puppy dog, puppy dog, puppy dog, puppy dog, no, no. Puppy dog, puppy dog, puppy dog, puppy dog. Uh... Come on! Come on! Stamina comes back so slowly! Okay. Cool music though. Yep. Are we done or what? Okay. Can I pick anything up? I need a I need a spider or something or other. Their names keep kind of popping up in the corner, and I'm like, eh. We should move on. You don't say anything. It occurs to me. I don't know how Sandamount got its I name. I know. Sydney nope. isn't Elven, is it? Carl was a good mage, a good man. It goes against all Chantry law to make him tranquil. Yeah, Meredith is crazy. She's crazy. Like, super duper crazy. Okay, so there's nothing back here but random encounters. Cool. Is there any other point to being here? No? Okay. It said I needed to talk to the Dalish. To look for iron bark. Do I like, have I not gotten to that point or something? Should I talk to Master Island again? Oh. Ah! So you've returned. How has your time been among the Shemlin? It's been nothing but roses and rainbows, Master Island. <laughs> the alienage is lovely in the spring. The collapsing shacks and drunken brutes are nicely offset by the knee deep mud. She's learning. This path has been of your own choosing, Meryl. A path that has saddened the clan greatly. Perhaps if the clan was more accepting of the ancient ways and not so mired in fear. Enough! We will not bicker like children in front of strangers. We cannot undo what is done. My apologies for that display. Interesting! Perhaps we can start again. I thought it was odd that nobody... You've returned. Is there something you need? I, I, oh, there we go. Aha, I knew. Aha, I figured it out. You gotta go talk to Island, because all they do is yell about ironbark. Do you have any pure ironbark in stock? What use is ironbark to you? I've never met a Shem who could bend it to his will. Either way, I'm out of stock. I do know where it can be found, but it is impossible to retrieve. Our people were forbidden from venturing to the area after we lost two of our best hunters there. Uh, that's a good question, but... What's the problem? Maybe I can give you a hand dealing with it. I find it insulting that you oh. think you would succeed where we could not. The place is overrun by darkspawn. Oh. If we tried to eradicate them, we would risk the precious few hunters we have left. I'll show you where the area is. What you do with the information is up to you. Well, bloody blah! You've returned. Is there something you need? Of I'm course. I'm sorry, Island. It doesn't look that bad. What's it supposed to be? If you can't tell what it is, <laughs> then it's rubbish. Hush. It's meant to be a bulb. Oh, um, it's a little flat for a bulb, perhaps. Told you so. Oh, I okay, maybe he was supposed to be over here and they three were supposed to be having a conversation. I think I see. Cursed, I swear. Three days in a row I've shot at and missed deer. Maybe it's Can not I what's um What's this? You always know just what to say to put my mind at ease. And then we've got What are these three? X's. How was the hunting today, Chandon? Slow, I'm afraid. I saw three chipmunks the entire day. Were they at least cute? Oh, cute chipmunks! Not as cute as you. Oh, cute! <laughs> um, what is this? Dalish Camp, Keeper Marathari, Center Mount Path. Okay. Well, I wish there was more to do here. 
Unless I'm just not seeing it. Marathari! I feel like you should talk to... to... May the dread wolf never hear your footsteps, child. Another nightmare. I hope, I hope he's okay. I hope he does okay. And this guy has a name, Shem? but I don't know why. Watch your step, Shem. You don't know how many Dalish arrows are trained on you right now. I know. Right now. Maybe you could use some archery. Oh, it's Paul. I think my aim is hopeless, Rada. Well, why don't we go somewhere alone and try to fix that? Oh, uh, that's a great idea. My gear is on the other side of. Leave it. You won't need it. <laughs> okay, Paul. Good luck with that. <laughs> Dalish women are crazy. Dalish women aren't crazy. I thought at first he was kind of talking about my character, but then I realized she's elven. She wasn't Dalish. She was a mage. Durthara. The, my origins character. Well, we have done a whole bunch of nothing today. I guess we got the update for uh, the Iron Bark. That's good. Oh boy. Should we... I mean, I don't really care about the herbo herbalist thing. Herbologist, the herbalist thing. Hmm. What? I want to do the Canary thing. I want to go do the Canary thing. So, where would I go? I went to the Chantry. Oh, should I have talked to the ladies or something? I don't know. Well, maybe we'll go to the Chantry. And then we will go... We'll go to... Oh, I can fast travel directly there. That's nice. We'll go to Low Town and kind of wander around. Hopefully during the day is fine. Probably never met a Dalish before, have you? I wouldn't know. Huh? I'm sure you'd be able to tell. Dalish aren't much like the elves in the cities. The smug sense of superiority does give you away. <laughs> uh, door. Oh. Commandments of the Maker. Be a jerk to everyone. It's locked away. Oh, sorry. Uh, Dear me. Are you here to make Those a donation? children. Okay. Is this supposed to be the maker or Andraste? I think it's supposed to be Andraste. I think she's got boobs. People in the Chantry are making inquiries. Or should I have Varric with me? Okay. Door. Founding of the Chantry. How fantastical. Yes, 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 yes. You're just a regular person. Um, you're just regular people. Okay. Odd. Or maybe I should go down and try to kill the Kunari. I'm just kind of worried because at this point I haven't uploaded that. And I don't know if you guys are going to be like, No, don't do that yet. You know? But I mean, I guess we can wander around Low Town for a bit. I'll I'll bring Varric with me because he's the one who knows the rumors. So right inside the Chantry door too. That's where. I'll So the ground looks kind of green right now. Did I hear correctly? Ooh! You are an abomination. Uh oh. Why don't you shout? <laughs> I don't think everyone heard you. Do you see yourself as harmless then? An abomination who would never harm anyone? 
Like ripping someone's heart out Ooh, of his chest. Ooh, he heard about that. I did that at the behest of no demon. Just your own demons. So we agree that it doesn't take a demon for someone to be a vicious killer. Good. Woohoo! Um, oh, right. I should check the shops. Okay, let's check the shops. Um, in the other category. Oh, backpack. Sure, I'll take a backpack. Oh, that's the companion armor. Uh, oh, it's for Varric. Okay. Oh, that was expensive. Was it expensive? I don't know. Do I have junk? No junk. Okay. Well, oh, and it's been automatic. I think that they, when you buy the upgrades or whatever, they automatically go onto your companion. So that's good. That's good. Okay. So, you don't have much of anything. Okay. Uh, I don't want potions right now. Uh, apparel. We can go in here. Oh. Oh. No wonder it's difficult to get around My and... My wife died yesterday. I'm taking up a collection to afford the burning. Yikes! Oh wait, I was trying to actually talk to her, but sure. Tarnished dagger. Robes. I could wear robes if I wanted, but you need magic. Rune of frost. No items. My wife died. You again? What do you want? Uh. Is don't... there a way I can assist these? If you've coin to spare, anything else? I just want to see your wares. Look around. Okay. Is, is it separate from you or what? I don't think so. Okay. I donated a five sovereigns. It's a lot of money. We've been a lot of places. Shopping. Robes? Oh. No, did I? Was that? Did I? Nef neophyte. Eh? Okay. Mage. Mincentio. Um... Weapon Smith Thrice Bound. Okay. Trinkets. Ah. Oh. Okay. I don't think there were any. Sh Shops in the alienage. There's something over here, though. Wants your pity. Are you talking to me? Woo! Yeah. You said you were sorry about the ritual. I ah. Enjoyed. Keep your sorrow. I only meant. You have all the freedom none of our kind enjoy, and you throw it away. On what? Our people need to reclaim their heritage. A heritage of defeat. To what end? Would you truly turn your back on your own history? There's so much we don't know. Die, citizen. It's not my history. It's simply history. Hmm. Interesting. I'm curious what they are going to talk about. Have you anything to spare? I, well, I would if I could talk to you. Um. Oh, armor. Bye. Oh. For Aveline. Okay. I didn't even look and see how much it cost. I was like, nee, nee, nee. The best armor coin can buy. Yeah. Oh, rebel. Yay. What's this? Is this a thing? Nope. Oh, you can hear the sound of the docks, though. Woo! 
that bridge right there leads nowhere. I mean, I guess if you wanted to, you could like climb up to the next one, but yikes. All right, well, I think I've gone through everything in this area for shopping wise. Um, that's the hanged man. Oh, and this is Gamlin's house. I guess we can pop in. Give us the estate. Is Corwin Mansion truly the only way? I hate to think of you going willingly into the Darkspawn's grasp. I haven't started that because I'm pretty sure if I do, it's gonna like, um... It's gonna like end the first act, you know? He's a funny puppy. You are. Yes, you are. You are. <laughs> I'm glad you're happy now. Well, I really don't know what to do. I, I would like to do that. That one. Oh, you have to complete Black Powder Promise. Okay, that makes sense, because that involves going down and doing the... All right, well, okay. Okay, let's, uh, I will save it here. See how many saves I can get. Um. Let's see. Fenris. Varric. Emeril. Anders. Fenris, Meryl, Varric, or no, F wait, well, uh, Fenris, Varric, Anders. Alright, that works. Two warriors, a rogue, and some mages. Oh, I wonder if I go to the gallows if that will trigger anything. Hold on. Hold on. Hang on. Let me actually bring Aveline. I, I'm, I think I might go do that letter. Uh. Uh. Um. Fenris? Let's see. Alright. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The whole point was to bring Anders and see also. My bad! Did I have Anders? I don't know. I can't. I don't know anymore. Anders. Fenris. Okay. Now we will go to the gallows. Oh, I keep forgetting we have to get Isabella, too. This may be a long one, because I basically did nothing in that first part. Or I'll just cut it in half. <laughs> nope. No cutscene. There must be mages in Tevinter who don't use blood magic. Of course. There are slaves. The magisters do not hesitate to collar their own kind. But no magisters. Why must you go on about this? No magister would turn down an advantage over his rivals. If he did, he'd be dead. You know, to use blood magic, you need to look a demon in the eye and accept his offer. I just figured some of them would say no. For aesthetic reasons, if nothing else. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point. All right, we'll see how this goes. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. We've found neither hide nor hair of the lad, Fainreel. I can only think he has fallen victim to demons or slavers. I found this. It was addressed to you. It seems to be from your daughter. My daughter? Then... You know what she is. How she died. When I traced her to that warehouse... I should have forced her into the circle. My own weakness in the face of her oh, pleas so he is what knew. destroyed her. It is why I urged Ariani not to give in when Fainriel wished to hide. If only I had been so strong for Olivia. Well, at least you don't have to worry about the Templars finding out. Oh, good. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. She is at peace now. I would not wish to see her name smeared while her ashes are still warm. Uh... 
<laughs> Gosh dang it. I know, okay, I mean, I know you can't be, probably can't be frenzy palsies with everybody, but gosh dang it. Aveline was a good idea to bring, and Anders, and we'll bring Varric. I just, uh, I don't know. Hmm. Slow to fire. Not really. I've always wondered, why is every surface dwarf a merchant or a smith? You left out criminals and hired muscle. They don't count. Woo. We dwarves are drawn to shiny objects. Sort of like magpies, but with business sense. <laughs> You're kidding. Of course I am. We come to the surface with the skills our ancestors had, Blondie. Blondie. You think there's a tradition of dwarf woodcutters in Orzammar? That's Bee true. Keepers, sailors. Well, there could be mushroom growers and nug wranglers. There are nug wranglers. Orzammar will never let those people go topside. <laughs> Too vital. <laughs> also, embarrassing. <laughs> we have found neither hide nor hair of the lad, uh -huh. Fenrir. I have a for you. I found this. My God, when I... It is why I urged Ariani not to get... Thank you. Okay. Freaking hey, at least you guys approve. All right, let's see. Aveline might, might approve of this one, too. Do you know a recruit named Karen? His sister is looking for him. We cannot speak to you, Messiah. You look like Karen. To the void with that. the other one. Karen and the others are missing. But our orders... The knights aren't doing anything to find them. Maybe it's time to ask for outside help. Eh? Why must you keep silent about Karen? You obviously aren't a Templar, Messer. Well, yeah. A knight lieutenant gives you an order and you obey, without question. They told us not to breathe a word about Karen and the others. They must have their reasons. And that'll be a great comfort if you go missing next. Ho oh, ho, if you go missing next. I wasn't even certain Karen was missing. Who else is gone? The first ones disappeared weeks ago. There's been at least half a dozen. Why? Wilmot and Karen were the most recent. Um... You can trust me. I'm only trying to keep Karen safe. I hear that Knight Commander Meredith has some new initiation you have to go through. Hey, if you're not strong enough or fervent enough in belief, you don't make it out alive. Figures. And you honestly believe that? Recruits keep going missing. Wilmot came back. Oh, did he? What? He did. I saw him this morning. Oh. What else do you know about the initiation? You hear about some <laughs> questionable things that the Order must do these days. The Knight Commander the only wants Templars that can do what must be done. And trust they alive. She's killing recruits that might question her orders, isn't she? That's rubbish. She wouldn't do that. If Wilmot came back, he might know more about the other missing recruits. This is sounding so shady. Wilmot told me he was going outside Kirkwall. Oh, he's gonna he go commit suicide. Okay. Shoot! Why didn't you tell us this? Knight Captain Cullen ordered it. Cullen! Right before he chased after Wilmot. Oh! That wasn't too long ago. If you hurry, Cullen! You might catch them on the We're road. going to catch Cullen! Okay, wait, 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 okay, uh, we'll leave the area, gather my party, where, 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 uh, out in the road somewhere, Wilma's camp, I think I got people who are gonna be good, <laughs> if not, there's an autosave as soon as you enter an area, so I can hopefully, can enter, can do that, oh my gosh, my mage, Darthara, liked Cullen, um, so down here? Maybe? This looks like... I mean, it looks like Ireland, but it also just looks like some places I've been. I don't know. It's cool. Oh. Doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Right... Up. Woo! 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 
I will have the truth from you now. Mercy, sir. Mercy. Uh-oh. Were it that easy? Don't hit me. What's he doing? I will know where you're going, and I will know now. I thought Templars only treated mages this badly. Nice to see you're branching out. This is Templar business, stranger. Cullen! What's happened to you? <laughs> you must drop me the last ah, time. Ah! I was wondering if there was a reason. How did he get possessed? How did he get possessed, though? Make her preserve us. I was wondering. I, because Cullen would not. I don't. I'm pretty sure Cullen would not hit somebody without cause. Hit a recruit. So I was wondering if the recruit maybe knew about the other recruits and Cullen was trying to get it out of him. But I did not suspect that the guy was possessed. Holy crap. Come on. I actually like that my uh, sustain ability pops on right away. I don't have to do anything. Um, let's see. Um, okay. Nope, I was trying to go that way. Um, trying to help out Cullen. Wilma. How did he... Was she trying to make him go through, like, the seeker thing or something? Come on! Come on! Everybody's got such low constitution. Oh, rage demon, freaking heck. Come on, we need to hit harder. Uh, here we go, a little bit. Emily, come back over here and do something. Oh, I forgot to look at hers and, uh, hers and Varric's uh, armor. I knew, I knew he was involved in something Ugh. sinister. But this. Yeah. Is it even possible? I don't understand. Do you think he was possessed? Normally, we only worry that mages will fall victim to possession. Yeah, I mean, it can I happen. I have heard of blood mages or demons in solid form who could summon others into unwilling hosts. I had not thought one of our own would be susceptible. Okay. You shouldn't have been out here alone with him. I am Knight Captain Cullen. I thank you for your assistance. I've been conducting an investigation of some oh, of our recruits good. who have gone missing. Wilmard was the first to return. I had hoped to confront him quietly, out of sight. Shoot. If you didn't know he was possessed, why draw your sword on a recruit? He'd only been back a few days when he left again secretly. It set off some warning bells. I meant to scare him into a confession. He had to believe my threats were genuine. Even though it seems like Cullen wouldn't hurt a fly sometimes. But he's... I mean, Cullen's one of the guys that you see from the... If you're a mage, he's one of the guys that you see in every series. And he has an arc. And he has, you know, progression. He went through some really horrible things. And he kind of turned into somebody that wasn't a very nice person for a while. The recruits believed that Meredith was conducting some sort of deadly ritual. What? <laughs> That's preposterous. Recruits can be worse than a weaving circle with their rumors. There is a vigil before Templars take their arms, but the gravest danger they face is falling asleep. Do you know what happened to Wilmot while he was gone? Then why? Yeah, then... Obviously more than I had anticipated. Who do you think is Wilmot doing this? Wilmot has never been fully convinced of the Order's rules. Mages cannot be our friends. They must always be watched. You were in love with the I mage. I thought Wilmot might be meeting with some old friends who'd escaped the circle. I've got friends who are mages. Are you saying they need to always be watched as well? I was at the circle tower in Ferelden during the blight. I saw firsthand how Tempest yeah, he's trust in his strict and leniency can right be now. rewarded. Trust and leniency? Is that what you Oh, Anders it? was there too. I well, still have nightmares of Aldred's depravities. Of course you do. You were a big part like you were the only one to survive, really. I was trying to find another recruit, a friend of Wilmot's. Do you know where Karen is? He also disappeared. 
They were last seen together at the Blooming Rose. Blooming Rose? But I had no luck interrogating the <laughs> uh, young ladies there. <laughs> I don't know anything of magic or demons. I'd be willing to search there. <laughs> the order would truly be in your debt if you helped us with this. No one at the brothel will speak with me for fear I would shut them down for serving our recruits. If you learn what manner of creature did this to Wilmot, please come tell me in the gallows. I will ensure you are rewarded. Okay. Alrighty then, that's interesting. Interesting. Um, well, let's go back to the Booming Rose then. We can go during the day, right? Is it in Hightown? Do I have to go... Oh, okay. Oh, and, uh, yeah, Isabella. <laughs> That's her name. Isabella? Isabel? Isabel. Isabella? Oh, injuries are true automatically when Hawk returns home. I knew it. These thugs are plaguing the streets. Uh, I don't see a problem in giving them the fight they want. <laughs> Ah, how far away are we? Eh. Oh, Isabella. Well, maybe we won't do Isabella's yet. We're gonna walk right past her. Oh well. I could just, I could just. Hey, bye. Okay, I'll actually, I'll call this one here so we can uh, get a fresh start with Isabella and the Enemies Among Us quest. So um, thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.